All right, so um, today I'm covering um, this rifle upper that I got. I got from PSA, uh, the scope I put on it. It's a uh, 6.8 SPC with an 18 inch barrel. Um, I um, made a mistake, really. I didn't make a mistake getting 6.8, but I made a mistake buying from PSA, apparently. Um, I have another rifle from them in 5.56, 223, and I have some cycling issues with it. Um, I think I'm going to have to wind up kind of doing the same kind of issue. And then this gun here, um, I got it right out of the box. Couldn't get it to cycle at all. Um, I did reloads with 4.227 and 20 grains, 20 and a half grains with a 140 grain bullet. And... Um, Gordon's reloading tool, GRT, was telling me that it's um, getting close to maximum pressures, giving me warnings. <laughs> and and I probably could have went up to 20 and three quarters, but I mean, it wasn't cycling and locking back then. Um, it just wasn't, it was losing gas. And then um, here's, um, I got a, a friend that put me on to another friend that's an armorer and works for police department. and. We went through, and this was the original gas block that came with uh, the gun, and this is an adjustable gas block, and they're supposed to have it set on seven clicks, and I think it goes to 15, and I took the rail off and ran all the way out to 15, still couldn't get it to cycle back, um, cycle and lock back, so he took this off the first time, um, I brought it back and shot it, still the same problem, and then... We tried messing with it some more, still the same problem. And then we went through and changed the uh, the uh, the carrier and the carrier key and uh, used my bolt, uh, same bolt for it because mine's specific to 6.8. And now it cycles um, with a fully open gas block and a new uh, carrier um, and carrier key. And uh, let me pull that out of the gun, and then I'll, I'll show you what he did. All right, so here, here's the, uh, the, the carrier group. Here's the bolt. This is the original one from PSA. This is a new carrier and a new carrier key. Um, when he used his gunsmithing tools and he tested the key, um, there's a green gauge and a red gauge, and both of them fit into here. So he said it's loose. He says they have some guns that have shot 15,000 rounds and um, this will start to take the red key then, but this one's taking it right out of those, brand new. Um, and so that was probably a problem. And then he oils these up, you know, he calls them wet. I mean, the damn guy's dripping oil when he, when he oils these things up. You gotta let them settle in so that they don't drip on other things. And um when we took the carrier key off, my carrier key, former one from PSA, off of the uh, carrier, you could see oil here and oil here, and it was absolutely absent here in the middle where this tube goes in and goes down here so it can blow and, and push the bolt um, back, unlock the bolt. And it was completely devoid, like it was blowing, it was apparently blowing gas out the sides of the carrier key um so it was losing gas i mean it would unlock the bolt push the bolt back slightly but it, the bolt wasn't going far enough back um so as soon as we put this in um with a better key um it it, it worked um so uh so i gotta develop some rounds now my my ladder is completely messed up i did a ladder just like uh like I went for a bolt gun and with slower, slower rounds like um, 2,000, 2,200 and everything up to almost 2,100 feet per second still doesn't cycle this. So I got to go load three rounds and make sure that they'll work before I can even test them for ladders with consistency. So um, I'll have to get to that. But this is just the uh, apparently, you know, I should have known better buying a cheaper gun, cheaper upper and they use cheaper parts and the gunsmith where he kind of said that they're probably made in china parts even though the guns are assembled here in the united states they're 
they're buying cheap parts that are most likely made somewhere else or even if they're made here they're inferiorly made so uh just throwing out here what i've seen and what i observed i mean brand new gun 400 and some dollar gun upper and i've done dropped well over a hundred dollars into the gas system just to get it to work so as i say buyer beware <laughs> Y'all enjoy, I'll update you later on uh, how I get with uh, what worked for the 6.8 with 140 grain bullet and um, what cycled and what um, what I went with and what shot consistently with the cast bullets. So it's not a whole lot of information out there for 6.8 using cast bullets. Hey, y'all enjoy. I forgot to add, I'm sure somebody's going to bring it up. Um, I tried going through customer service uh, with PSA. No one answers the phone down there. You got Liberty, their um, automatic messenger service, and you can't get through to anybody. And um, even says on their thing that their technicians aren't gunsmiths, so they can't help you through problems on their on their website. And I submitted, you have to submit like a warranty request, and I submitted two days later. Um, what are the cycling issues you're having? I get an email back and then I tell them, and then two days later I said, oh, well, you know, maybe we'll see what's going on and then maybe we'll, you'll be able to send it back. Maybe, I guess, I don't know. It took a week to get that. And um, I was just frustrated with the uh, their service there, but it's very slow and kind of lackadaisical and uh, I was not that impressed. So I know they're a big store down South, South Carolina, but I'm not totally impressed with what's coming. I guess I shouldn't have been with what I was paying for it. So, live and learn. Next time I'll build one myself.